Hello! Right, I haven't scripted this, so I'm just going to blabber and make mistakes and cough and splutter. So, um, this is the Ropro 12 volt portable stove. Bought this because I'm sick of taking my dinner to work uh, and eating it cold. I usually take chicken and rice and vegetables, and uh, it's not very good on the floor of the cab, it gets a bit icy, and uh, especially in this weather in winter, and um, not very pleasant. So, just typed into Google um, portable stove, asked a few people on Twitter and one of the drivers, one of my fellow cab drivers uh, showed me a link to an American site and I found the equivalent in, in England. So I bought this, um, it was about £35 from the uh, Road Pro people, um, £3 delivery and then I went to Wilkinson and found this cake tin. Now on the cake tin it does say don't put on an element or a hob or something like that but Seeing as this isn't a proper heater that will cook a steak in, you know, three or four minutes, um, I'd risk it. You know, I think you, you, for some food you'd wrap it in foil or something like that. So that goes in there just quite, quite snugly. Sometimes you have to jiggle it around to get a seal, but no. And um, and in there is the charger, conveniently placed away. You pop it in. And uh, what I've found is uh, I've only used it once so far. We're, we're about to fill it up with some food now. Um, is that uh, obviously it does cook around the edges more so you just sort of stick your spoon in and move it around a little bit um, but it's brilliant I mean it, I think it cooked my chicken and right well I didn't cook it it warmed it up in 20 or so minutes so um, but yeah let's uh, get some food in there okay lucky boy I came home last night and uh, wife has left me a nice chicken curry and uh, yep there she is spinach the whole works so, and why, what I usually do to save some time and energy, especially in today's energy prices, is to like bulk cook vegetables and, and rice and have them over three days. So, all the bits and pieces, let's open them up, cake them out, da -da -da. right, spoon. Uh, okay, let's go for a rice. I think I've read somewhere that a golf ball size of, of rice is good, even if it's brown. So maybe just a tiny bit more, because I'm going to the gym, so I deserve it. Oh, a bit more. <laughs> it looks tiny. Right, vegetables, most important. Okay, lots of vegetables, lots of vegetables. Oh, I better save some vegetables for a snack tomorrow. Okay, right, let's get into this crate. Mamma mia, it's a good stuff. Oh, this whole thigh is excellent. So it'll be nice and flavoursome because of those bones. Probably mix it up later so we, maybe the, um, the liquid transfers the heat around a little more um, efficiently. Um, do I, how many bits of chicken are in there? Okay. Take two because I'll be extra hungry tonight. Hmm. Yeah, I've had a big workout today in the gym, exhausted, so my bones are going to be a lot of protein. Um, gonna take up some of those extra bits. Over the top. Okay, all right, so we have nice sort of leveled off, I think. And uh, what we'll do, I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to go get some foil. Actually, scratch that. Um, we're going to forget the fall. The reason I was going to put fall on it because it's it's got a strong curry smell, um, and I'm, I'm going to take it in the cab now and uh, and go and have dinner with my sister and go watch a film. And then tonight, obviously, it's going to be left in the car. And um, but all the cabbies on Twitter are saying, you know, I was going to stink your car up. Um, I don't think so. It's got a rubber around the edge. It's got a kind of rubber seal. So when you push this down, it's like a you know an underwater camera case. It kind of locks it nice rubber seal so this could probably be a little experiment because probably you know when we're wasting all that foil and uh, cling film so drop that in there like that try and center it and then nice clean close boom din -dins. ready to go so into the car now I will cleanly edit it so that it all links up with later on okay right so um, we're at work now I've uh, been at work about an hour and um, I think I was out of the car for about five or six hours. Oops, I'll just close that. 
Um, and I went to the cinema and uh, had some dinner with my sister. So the first test was the smell. Got back in the car, nothing. So the thing sealed the, the food in completely, no smell. And if anything's going to smell, it's going to be a curry. So that little test proves you can have it in the car and it's not going not to stink it out. A lot of cab drivers on Twitter are saying, what about the smell in there? It's going to smell horrible. Um, so excellent. So that's a great test. Um, so what we're going to do now is the, here it is, the ch charger or the power supply just pulls out the side conveniently like that it's a really nice long cord and I'm going to plop out my um, massive um, transformer or uh, adapter full of in-car chargers for all my gadgets and plop this in um, I put it in on its own separate uh, as a single unit because when I've done my in-car kettle in the past so I'm about to make a cup of tea when I'm at work um, it's the wire for the kettle as you can see is quite thick um, it must have to draw a lot more power than like an iPhone or something uh, and when I used it on on my adapter which has a much thinner wire the, the wire almost melted obviously the power going through it was much more so I recommend if you use this don't put it in any adapter put it straight into the cigarette lighter socket um, so there's a little red light tells you it's on we're gonna leave that for about 10 or 12 minutes because I think the last time it, it took about 20-25 minutes to warm my food up so this time we're gonna leave it for 10-12 minutes have a little check stir it and then after another 10 or 12 minutes we should have hot food so um, 10 or 12 minutes time see you in a minute right so it's been about um, almost 15-12-15 minutes now so uh, let's get this puppy open and feel the box is warm Allah, come to mama. Mm. Yeah. Still a little bit to go, probably give that 15 minutes. Yeah. It's quite a lot of food in there compared to last time. Yeah, plastic fork. I do <laughs> I do normally carry I forgot to bring out my um, my fork, um my, my normal metal fork. So I, I did this little trick, I've done it before. Um, I went to a kebab shop with my money bag in hand ready and said, um, you know, can I buy a plastic fork for my fruit salad? <laughs> Knowing full well they wouldn't charge me. If I said for my dinner, I'm not buying a kebab, so you know, I abused their hospitality. <laughs> and he was like, oh, it's okay, you guys. I was like, oh, for so much. I'm eating fruit salad. <laughs> so you try that one yourself. Ah, shut my jacket in it. <laughs> another 15 minutes um, it's been 35 minutes since I first put this on um, I did s after the last time I spoke um, I checked it uh, 15 minutes and it needed some more um, because there was a bit more food in it so now it should be pretty much piping hot mm. Mm. it's not putting mm. It's not piping hot, but it's warm. Um, like I say, mm, yeah, this was a lot more food than there was last time, about twice as much. And um, there's two big bits of chicken here. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, it did. I, I think in the instructions somewhere it said somewhere around 40 minutes, 50 minutes for certain things. Um, but they say it does get hot enough that you could like cook a sausage on here or something. I mean, I, I assume something like a frankfurter, not a real sausage. Um, but there it is. I mean, it's it's a complete and utter luxury to have the food I've cooked at home, that I, the way I like it, with the ingredients I want, um, hot after sort of nine hours of it being in the car. So um, definitely get one of these. I mean, they are. I mean, I love it. Chicken. Mm.